St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. Welcome to our Daily Mass. You here in the church and all you who are joining us through television. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from two donors. The first is a parishioner from Holy Family Parish in Grimshaw, Alberta, for victims of war and violence and war in war-torn countries. The second is an anonymous donor from Richmond Hill, Ontario, for the living and deceased members of their family and for the souls who have no one to pray for them. Our thanks to our donors for the gift of this Mass. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of James. Beloved, those conflicts and disputes among you, where do they come from? Do they not come from your cravings that are at war within you? You want something and you do not have it, so you commit murder. And you covet something and cannot obtain it, so you engage in disputes and conflicts. You do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive, because you ask wrongly, in order to spend what you get on your pleasures. Adulterers, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Therefore, whoever wishes to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you suppose that it is for nothing that the scripture says, God yearns jealously for the spirit that he has made to dwell in us. But he gives all the more. Grace, therefore, it says, God opposeth the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned into mourning and your joy into dejection. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Truly, 
I would flee far away. I would lodge in the wilderness. Throw your cares on the Lord, and the Lord will support you. I would hurry to find a shelter for myself from the raging wind and tempest. Confuse, O oh Lord, confound their speech. Throw your cares on the Lord, and the Lord will support you. For I see violence and strife in the city. Day and night they go around it on its walls, and iniquity and trouble are within it. Throw your cares on the Lord, and the Lord will support you. of our Lord Jesus Christ, which crucifies the world to me and me to the world. Hallelujah, hallelujah, The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus and the disciples passed through Galilee, but he didn't want anyone to know it, for he was teaching his disciples, saying to them, The Son of Man is to be betrayed into human hands, and they will kill him. And three days after being killed, he will rise again. But they did not understand what he was saying and were afraid to ask him. And then they came to Capernaum, and when he was in the house of Jesus, in the house, Jesus asked them, what were you arguing about on the way? But they were silent, for on the way they had argued with one another about who was the greatest. And Jesus sat down, called the twelve, and said to them, whoever wants to be first, must be the last of all and the servant of all. And then he took a little child and put it among them, and taking it in his arms, he said to them, Whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me, and whoever welcomes me welcomes not me, but the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. The readings today are about humility. St. James says that the problem with the early Christian communities when they were fighting all the time, the trouble was they were all putting themselves first and what they wanted first, not only with one another, but with God. Imagine praying to God, I want what I want and I want it now. That's no way to pray, putting yourself first and your needs first. And then it's no way to treat other people or treat one another, putting their own needs first. I want what I want, and I want it now. I don't care what you want. 
It's that which was causing the problems, the troubles, the fighting in the community. If you want to be right in God's eyes, you have to put other people first. You have to put God first and your own desires afterwards. And Jesus said the same thing in the gospel. Who wants to be first? If you want to be the greatest, you have to be the least. The last, you have to serve everybody. You have to put other people's needs before your own. And that was the way Jesus did it. As St. Paul says, he humbled himself and became obedient even unto death. And then that was the road to greatness because God gave him the name, Lord, that was above every other name. But you know, there are people who don't have such a high idea of humility. They say humility is for losers. It's invented by losers to keep winners from enjoying their victories, to keep winners from thinking how strong they are and how powerful and how great they are. It's only the losers who talk about humility. It sounds ugly. It is ugly. And that sort of thinking produces ugly human beings. But it also reminds us that we make sure, we should make sure we know what humility is. We have the right idea about humility. Humility is not about low self-esteem. Humility is not about, about being afraid I'm not good enough and so I'll stop trying. That's why our Lord told the parable of the talents. You know, the rich landowner gave three of his servants a certain sum of money, said, trade with it while I'm away. And the two of them doubled his money. But the third one was afraid to use it. So he buried it and he gave it back. And he was blamed for it and he lost what he had. Humility is not about low self-esteem. Humility is not about fearfulness of making mistakes, of losing. Humility is confident. We call it self-confidence. And it's so important for winning. It's so important to have self-confidence. In God's world, it's not confidence in self. It's confidence in the gifts God gave us. It's confidence that God made us right. And the gifts he gave us work. Do you ever think how much confidence we have in our stomachs? You know that there are people with weak stomachs. There are people who have poor digestion. But that doesn't shake our native confidence that when we sit down and eat a meal, our stomachs will do its work, their work. They're made right. We don't have to know all how the stomach works. It will do its job. The work, it's the same thing with our minds. Although there are philosophers who tell you our minds are only there to fool us, and we can only trust what we can see and what we can experiment on, same with our minds. We have a native confidence in our minds that God made them right, that God made them to know the truth and to love the good. However hard it is to get to the truth, however many mistakes we made, however often we're told we're just deluded, we have this confidence and we should have that God made us right. It's the same with the talents we have. Every one of us has talents. It doesn't mean we have to be the best. We don't have to be smarter than anybody in the world. We don't have to be better athletes. The Olympics can tell us that. We see not just bronze, silver, and gold. Every participant is way beyond our class in whatever we were as athletes. That doesn't mean we didn't have confidence when we were playing sports. It doesn't mean we were confident and we could do things. We're made right and everybody is made to do something well. Everybody is made to do something well 
and to have confidence that God has made me right, that I can do things. And that's what humility is all about. Humility is confident. And confident humility is nothing more than humility full grown. Let us take a moment now to mention those intentions for which we wish to pray at this Eucharist. Let us pray first of all for the church throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all the peoples of the earth, for peace and justice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for this community here in this church, this parish, here in television, and especially for all those intentions that have been sent to us. Let us pray as a community for all of them, individually, all those intentions that people want us to pray for. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Most merciful and generous God, hear these prayers and answer them in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to, to share the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, Lord, from my iniquity Cleanse me from my sin. My brothers and sisters, please pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice with your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries, which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have pleased, been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross, brought grace and peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim.
You are indeed holy, O Lord, and the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Christ. Would those of you at home join with me now in this prayer of St. Ignatius of Loyola. O Christ Jesus, when all is darkness and we feel our weakness and helplessness, give us the sense of your presence, your love, and your strength. Help us to have perfect trust in your protecting love and strengthening power so that nothing may frighten or worry us. For living close to you, we shall see your hand, your purpose, your will through all things. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. to two donors. The first, a parishioner from Holy Family Parish in Grimshaw, Alberta. The second, an anonymous donor from Richmond Hill, Ontario. And it's their generous contributions that made the televising of today's Mass possible. If you're interested in making monthly donations using the pre-authorized checking method, please call our office at one 888 383 6277 for details.